Welcome back to Simulacra 2. Last episode, we managed to get the signal jammer from the police evidence room. Thanks to Rex. I hate to say that, but thanks to Rex and me and Marillo. But uh, yeah, so we've got Rex in on trying to stop the Ripple Man. And I think now we basically just need to get Mina and Arya in. All three need to be in for it to be a thing and to work. So, right now the quests say verify if Mina's tragic story was true, find a way to verify Arya's Aluren sponsorship, so I, I think those are the same things we've done before. So I guess I'll go gather that evidence off camera and bring you back when something new happens. Okay, this is definitely a unique tweet. Good for nothing plumber left without fixing the pipes. What I'd give to use one of these babies again. Can see from their handle and their picture that they are an officer. That was Rex. Not much of a plumber. Okay, I got through the conversation with Arya's contact at Aluren. Rachel? So before, I pressed in really hard, saying that Arya's faking, and check out this post they made on Chimera, and just... Yeah, just pushing hard to the point where Rachel basically said, Okay, fuck it. We are done with Arya. And they put out a public statement. And all that stuff. This time, though, I... Didn't push nearly as hard for Arya being a bad person. I was just more, how is Aloran and Arya connected? Well, I got this, which is definitely different than how it was before. Rachel thinks highly of Arya justifying her actions and defending her. Yeah, so Rachel doesn't seem too angry about it this time, unlike last time. And I'm assuming they're not going to put out a public statement, probably. And I've told Rachel that I'll be quiet and keep alluring out of this. Oh, I keep seeing mention of the instructors that Maya has, which is relevant because we're going to need to know all of Maya's instructors to get the password, the four-letter password to their locker. I don't know why we need to get into their locker, but I'm sure we will. And I've noticed it's not just Anand that's mentioned in that email, but there's also little mentions of other people in kind of random places, like this tweet from Mind Body Fitness. Like sign up for a midweek yoga class led by Chloe. And then Maya said, 100% recommend this. The instructor is great. So now we know. They went to Chloe, they went to Anand, and I saw someone else mentioned somewhere, but I need to go find it again. Here we go. I found another message in Jabber. Wrapping up my week with Rebecca. Um, doesn't specifically say Mind Body Fitness, but it most likely is. So that's three names, Anand, Chloe, and Rebecca. Just need one more. So I did something different with this conversation with June Kovach, the person who was in the car with Erica Simmons, the whole crash that Mina lied about. Uh, this time, I didn't tell June Kovach that Mina had lied about it. Because I remember, I, I think that led to a very public spat with June adding Mina and then bringing all that to light, which, I mean, is fair, don't get me wrong, Mina's is a piece of shit for doing that, but for the purposes of getting everybody together and not falling apart, I thought it might be better if we just don't bring that to light. And it seems to work. I just had June Kovach describe their interaction with Mina. Like, wh what did Mina do there? Mina was the one who uh, called the paramedics. And, well, June is grateful to Mina for being the only passerby who helped her after the accident. Alright, I think I've gathered as much as I can. Let's speak with Mina and remember that we're trying to get on their good side. We're trying to bring them together to help us stop the Ripple Man. And and we know that Mina is really delicate. Given what happened last time, we completely broke them. So let's not do that this time. We're hoping to get those little sun icons next to the chat bubbles. That means we're doing it right. I have to ask you about this. So how do we not go in so hard? Just say, took a while to track it down. How the heck did you even get this? Okay, I didn't know her personally, but it really did affect me, okay? I witnessed someone dying. Let's just be curious instead of accusatory. Why did you make it your story? I've seen that before. So it's just branding. Ah, 
A son, yes. Yes, that's what Maya used to say too. Branding. You totally don't get it. People think it's so easy to get discovered, but there's so many musicians out there. To be authentic, you have to change your reality a little. Oh, what is that? What did I miss? Well, we have the one that we want to do, though. June was very thankful you were there. It's going to make them happy. Yes, son. See? I made a mistake, but I'm not evil. I went too far, okay? I admit it. It's just people like the rock star Mina much more than the real me. And the criticism started exaggerated even more because I just wanted everyone to stop and I didn't know what to do. Your work did end up inspiring people. Yes. It's like so hard for me to relate to people, you know? When the deal thingy came up, I was already uncomfortable even thinking of taking another easy way out. Plus the sacrifice thing was totally weird, so I ignored it. She helped you grow as a person. Yes. That's why I trusted her as my manager. I should have believed Maya the first time she mentioned all this. It was just, like, too weird. By the time I understood, it was totally too late. You can stop it from happening again. How? I couldn't even help Maya. It all happened so fast, and we were all so useless because we couldn't process anything that was going on. And then she was gone. I don't know what to think or do anymore. Rex thinks we can end this. No, I don't believe it. Rex is like so selfish. He only looks out for himself. Rex wants to carry out Maya's, Maya's initial plan. Really? He must be serious then. I thought signing up for the service meant I'll have friends who get me. Oh, this is timed. I don't know what to do. I can help us end this. Do the right thing for Maya's sake. Oh, no, they didn't like that. Shit. I did everything for Maya's sake. How did I end up here? You just need some guidance. Anything you can actually do to help? Mm. Self-pity won't help you. Okay, they like that. Yes. I know, but what do you expect me to do now? Everyone thinks I'm a big screw-up anyway. Even Arya and Rex, so I try. You have to take control of things. He might be right. But we still need the rest? I want to help, I really do, but I need the others. I don't know if they're going to stick with me for this. Mm. Let me handle that. Oh, they didn't like that. Ah, why didn't you like that? So I'm just supposed to sit here and let you guys boss me around? There's only one way out of this now, I think. The night Maya died, she was telling us about a ritual. Okay, it's not timed. Telling us about a ritual to make the Ripple Man go away. She said we all had to delete our Chimera accounts at the same time. And that's why we were all like freaking out. Because that's like deleting your life. But that's the only thing I can remember. Mina's perspective. Mina says Maya had a plan to stop the Ripple Man. To do that, she needs to somehow delete everyone's Chimera account at the same time. Rex found a way to contain the Ripple Man. Rex wants to work together? So he's not so selfish. Maybe this is really going to work. Oh wait, Maya said we needed a special app that can access everyone's Chimera accounts. To make sure we delete the accounts at the same time. Maybe you can help do that? Ah, that was the thing happening on... I have it in my notes. Uh, Maya really wanted to control someone's account on the 18th of October, is what I wrote. Remember, that's when they were talking with Ruben, one of the devs of Chimera, about this, like, beta feature that allows them to control multiple accounts. Where can I get this software? Uh, it's not, like, available to the public. Maya knew the guy from Chimera who made it. I have his number, but I feel like he'd only talk to Maya. Wait, you have Maya's phone. You can pretend to be her. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. That's going to be an awkward conversation. Wouldn't he know that Maya's dead? I don't think so. 
He's like the type who doesn't pay attention to the world. And he won't open up to anyone else. His name's Ruben. He's a huge crush on Maya, and she, uh, used that to get info about Chimera. Like about algorithms and how other influencers are doing and stuff. So if you flirt with him like Maya did... Okay, I'll seduce it out of him. Um, you don't have to go that far. Just take it slow like you're super interested in him. Then ask him for the app. He likes to bring up the past a lot, so just go along with it. I'm totally counting on you, okay? Okay. Hey, something that I've noticed. I'm pretty sure at this point in the game, this background image had been totally messed up and was horrifying. The fact that it hasn't now makes me think that maybe the state of this background kind of indicates how well you're doing. You know, how much things have been taken over and corrupted by the Ripple Man. Basically an indicator of whether you're doing good or bad. Last time, I did really bad. <laughs> Highly confidential. Oh yes, I remember that. Looking good, Chief? Damn kids, you're not good with instructions, are you? Just get your ass back to work. Okay. Ruben. Is this too much? Oh, Ruby Patootie, smiley face. <laughs> I don't think... Um, ho hold on. Let's go look at the past chat. How did Maya talk? Uh, at the end, they were pretty serious. I don't think they were flirting at all, so let's go back to the beginning. Whew. Long conversation. Hey. Can never forget my favorite Chimera developer. Great, let's do that. That's sweet. Yeah, they do use smiley faces. But, yeah, they don't lay it on really thick. So I don't think I should do that. Uh, right, they don't... Um, They wanted us to... Or they wanted Maya, not me, but they wanted Maya to call them Ben, I think. Hey, Ben. Maya! Hey, you. Whoa, it's been a long time. Thought you were dead or something. <laughs> How long is it? Oh, fuck. This is timed. Uh, October. It's been weeks. Weeks? Oh, it really feels like ages. Kind of ghosted me, but you must be really busy. I understand. Still, good to hear from you. I was worried you were gone for good. Timed. This is all timed. Uh, you doing okay? I heard some rumors. Okay, I'm not going to open up right away with like, yes, can you do something for me? Just keep buttering them up. I'm good. And you? Better now that you're here. I really like talking to you. <laughs> but that's no secret. You know, your absence got me thinking about how we first met. Do you remember? Oh, God. Oh, no. I should have studied that more. Uh, Chimericon 2018, of course, right? What a night, right? And that dress you were wearing was wow. Since you're here, I think of catching up a Again, brunch at our favorite spot. That was King of Waffles. I miss you. I mean food. I can order blueberry waffles and iced tea. Our usual. There's something else. You're not going to like this, but I'm um, quitting my job at Chimera. An amazing opportunity opened up for me. Uh, no, that's great. Thank you. It is didn't expect you to be supportive of this, but I'm glad you are. I think this is the right move for me. Got me thinking about what you said early on about professionalism getting in the way if you catch my drift. Ah, right, the conflict of interest. Can't be in a relationship. You remembered! And you said that we couldn't date because you're an influencer and I'm a Khmer employee, but since I'm leaving, maybe this is our chance? No timer. I like you, Maya, a lot. Do you want to try and see where this goes? I'd like that. Really? This isn't a joke, right? Maya, you're not just saying that, right? I keep having this nagging feeling that you're only nice to me because you need me for those Chimera hacks. 
You can be honest to me. Uh, honest with me. I don't think I should be honest. I would never do that. I want to believe that. I really do. But I don't think you're being truthful. What about all our conversations? Were those genuine at all? I, I don't know what tactic to take here. I might be able to convince them if I keep going in saying that I'm, I've been honest. But if I f then follow that up with, oh, by the way, I need something from you, that's not going to go over well, is it? Fuck, I... Mm. I'm scared. I'm going to go all in? Yes, the whole time. Then why'd you ghost me for so long? Did we only talk when you need something? It doesn't add up if that were true. You already know how I feel. Where do you see our friendship going? Grow into something more. Wow, I never thought you saw it that way too. I want to trust you. Maya, I'm glad we have an understanding. I'm sorry I doubted your intentions. We'll just go with the flow from now on. Hmm... Thank you for being so honest. No, uh... I'd like that. I'm so happy right now. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna stop squealing in happiness right now. I'm gonna make it up to you. You remember that Chimera feature you asked for? It's ready! Oh, this is perfect! Okay, I didn't even have to ask for it. If they offer it, then yeah. We're good. We're good. Whew. Can you set it up for me, please? Sure thing. Attaching a link here. Just send this to whomever's account you want to take over, and it'll set up automatically. Oh, I got a call from my potential new employer. Gotta go. See you soon, okay? Community Devs Portal version 4. One active project, Chimera Remote. Designed for social media managers or talent agents, Chimera Remote enables remote access of other accounts for easier editing, posting, and updating without the hassle of sharing usernames and passwords. Download the current version of your app. Yes. To link accounts, simply type in their Chimera username, and after approval from the account that is to be linked, you can now access their Chimera account remotely. Only linking and deleting functions are in the current build. Other features like uploading, posting, and editing are still being developed. K Remote, an app that can link other Chimera accounts to it and delete them. So... Account code? I thought it was just their account name. What's that account code? Anyway, I probably shouldn't try to add any of the friends until we tell them about this, right? Because they have to approve it. We got a new app. I love it. I'm the luckiest guy on the planet and nothing can ruin this for me. Like... That's awkward. That's real awkward. A video of Maya seeing things. I don't think I can get that yet, so I think it's time to just talk to Aria. That's the next person, right? Oh. No, I can go back and talk to Mina. Right, we're not quite done yet. Got it. Oh my god, we did it! I was so, so nervous, but we made it work! Together! But we still need to get the rest too. I know you can do it. I really trust you. 
I'll just wait till then. So, what now? I think we need Arya and Rex to figure out what to do. If you can handle Ruben, I'm sure you can get the others on this too. Mina's cooperation. I hope none of them took the deal though. Let me know. I'll just wait here. Lots of updates. Rex and Mina think we can stop the Ripple Man. This again? You're blindly listening to prime suspects of a murder case? Did it cross your mind that they could be conspiring to mislead us? Their plan might be our best shot. Then you've got your head further up your ass than I thought. They covered up a death and repeatedly lied about it. Why would these selfish brats help you now? I think they're genuine this time. That's it, I'm drawing the line here. Get rid of these delusions and focus on our plan. That's an order. This team they gave me? If we screw up this case, they'll be taking me in instead. And if they dig deeper and detain you too, there'll be no one left to pursue these simulacra. I won't let anything happen to you. I appreciate the sentiment, but I don't give two hoots about myself. I just want our work to see the light of day. Only one more to go. Wrap it up and let me know. Think about that. I'm not going to listen to your message, so I won't think about that. Humph. <laughs> right, Maya seeing things so that I can unlock another thing. I'll bring you back when new stuff happens. Alright, let's try to get Arya's help and not lean too hard into them. I have to ask you about this. Hold on. I want to make sure I'm not missing any evidence. Nothing there. I just want your explanation for this. Explain what? You do realize that most influencers basically fake it till they make it, right? Why call me out when all the others just get away with it? You're avoiding the question. Fine, I admit it. I faked my brand sponsorship. What do you have against me? You're just as bad as the so-called fans who just follow me to troll and put me down. Hmm. None of these options are really gentle. Hmm. <laughs> Aren't you all about keeping it real? Yeah, they didn't like that. Why would they like that? Realize I'm being honest with myself. I've never compromised my personality, unlike those cardboard cutout beauty bots. Uh, not timed. I needed that Aluren deal to boost my ratings, okay? You have to show that you're successful to get jobs, and perception trumps realness every time. Plus, Aluren's a big company. I didn't think they'd bother checking someone like me. Aluren didn't make it a big deal. Ha they're happy. You see? we Ah! What? Uh, just another day in Marlo's life. Oh, shut up. Rachel knows me. She'll vouch for me. Listen, I was desperate and I made a stupid mistake. Sometimes I feel pressure to act like my life is more exciting than it is, okay? But I can intend to fix myself on my own terms. I never needed the Ripple Man's deal. Yeah, you're a fighter when things get hard. I don't appreciate you digging into my personal life, but if it helps me make my make my case, go right ahead. Will you believe me now? I didn't take the Ripple Man's deal. I didn't kill Maya. I would never want anything bad to happen to her. Maya cares for you too. It wasn't supposed to be this way. How did we get to this? Maya was freaking out. She was trying to warn us. It's like she knew something was up. And give her voice a second chance. We were all there. Me, Mina, and Rex. I was so caught up by how silly it all sounded. And I was worrying about jobs instead of just hearing her out. I'm such a mess right now. Rex 
Rex and Mina told me about Maya's warning. They both did? What did they say? They want to carry out Maya's initial plan. Uh, are these mutually exclusive? I don't think so. Mina knows a way to destroy it for good. Okay, yeah, and Rex is confident that we can trap it. Maya's plan? What would you know anyways? Everyone ex- oh, timed. Works hard to prove them wrong and services my leg up. You don't have to prove anything. They like that. It's easy to say. If you were in my shoes, you might have done the same thing. I can handle this myself. Right, they are very independent. They only want help from their family. It's okay to admit defeat sometimes. They didn't like that! Ah! Never ever say that to me again. I can't afford to throw away everything I've built. No way I'm... Mm -hmm. Then suck it up and fight for it. Fine. But what about Rex and Mina? They know stuff too. Why am I the focus here? I need your strength for this. I'm so tired of people leaning on me all the time. If I give it my all to help you, can you guarantee that Rex and Mina would do the same? I can handle them, don't worry. Ah, oh, they didn't like that. You don't know them like I do. You can't trust them. I know how you can solve this, so there might be a way. Maya was telling us something important about the Ripple Man, but I wasn't really paying attention. And then, well, you know what happened to her. Maya found a ritual to get rid of it. A dispelling ritual, that's it. I know what to do now. We need to get the totem from her gym locker. Then we have to summon the monster and kill it. Okay, gym locker, yes. A totem? No idea what it is. We went to the same gym, but with our different schedules, I have no idea which logger's hers. And if it's padlocked, I'll need the combination to make this quick. Maybe you can find this info in her phone somewhere? I'll look for it. Great. That's what I like to hear. Look, I don't trust people easily, let alone someone who I've never even met, but I got a good feeling about this. It's going to take me a while to get to the gym, so get back to me with the info? Nothing bad has happened with the phone, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Oh, this is a new post. <laughs> Me on vacation thinking about which mind-blowing business opportunity I'm going to get my hustle on next. Don't hate the player and get your game on. Yeah, that's blatantly fake. <laughs> Let's see if I can add everybody's accounts to the remote thing. Max to Rex. Okay, yeah, it's, it's a special code or something. What exactly am I supposed to do now? Nothing's highlighted. Help Arya break into Maya's gym locker and retrieve the totem. Yeah. I'm supposed to tell them the combination, right? Wait, why does it still say confront Ari about faking an Allure and sponsorship? Haven't we already done that? They just admitted to it. Aha! I had to Google it. I was just stuck. I thought the game was bugged. I had to go back to Camara, scroll down, and then get stuck in this thing. This TRM thing. Um... I can't scroll away from it. Or can I? No. No, I can't. Feel helpless against the decisions of others? No. Wouldn't you rather control others and they control you? No. Do you like being used? Yes. Are you ready to become a god? Okay. Okay. 
Take the deal, make the sacrifice, and your true self, find your true self, and tower over all beings. Does it matter what I pick? These pictures are new. You go about your routine and you meet someone you like, what would you do? Your superior calls you in for a private talk. What do you think it's about? How do you decide on the lesser of two evils? How does it feel when everyone leans on you for guidance? You're an agent of chaos and cat Catastrophe, always wanting something fun and, um, bad grammar, always hoping something fun and exciting will happen, regardless of how illogical it could be. The world takes itself too seriously, and all you want to do is shake it up until it crumbles in your hand. Embrace our influence and grow your prestige. This deal requires a sacrifice. No creepy image. Yet. Okay. Did we get another card downloaded? Jester, we did. I wonder if these cards matter for anything. Like, can we do something with them that's going to affect the end, potentially? Okay, did that make us advance? I'm still supposed to confront Arya about faking an Aloran sponsorship. That doesn't make any sense. Hey, uh, hello, I'm here. You there? I'm here. Been wandering around here for ten minutes. People are starting to look at me funny. I'm in the locker room now. You got the number? Not really. Not quite. Have three of the names. So we have Anand, Chloe, and Rebecca. But then who's the fourth? Well, it can only be four letters, so... Um, I don't know. Let me go back through the emails and stuff. I found a chat with Harry, who does body combat. So that's our fourth name. We have Anand, Chloe, Rebecca, Harry. <clears throat> so starting from Monday, we have Chloe, then Harry, so C-H. And then we have Chloe again on Wednesday. I'm guessing we're probably supposed to ignore that, because otherwise, otherwise we'd end up with a five letter combination instead of four. So CH, nothing, nothing, nothing. And then Anand, so A. And then Rebecca. So C-H-A-R, char. Two, three, yeah, two, three, seven. All right, I'm at our locker. Padlock here with a four letter combination. Okay, yes. That's not it. It's not opening. H-C-A-R. I think that was right. Was it right? Got it. Yes. Oh, that was such a rush. I kept thinking I'd get caught. But, okay. I know you got my back, so yay us. But we need the others, too. Anyway, I'll stand by with the thing. And you go get them to help. How did I know it was H-car? 
Well, when I was searching for why I couldn't progress in the game, I think somebody mentioned what the password was, and I, I just glanced at it. And I think it started with an H. So all I did was just shift everything forwards one. You know how Chloe shows up two times? Well, I just ignored the first instance of Chloe. I don't know why, but it worked. So what's the totem? It's the phone, isn't it? What the? Wow, it's an old peril phone. Haven't seen this model in ages. But there's some instructions, too. So to summon the Ripple Man, I need to call a specific number with this phone. It's all here. We're gonna beat this. Great work. Looks like I can count on you after all. I'm heading off. Looks like this is the final piece, huh? I'll contact the others then. We'll finish this where it started. At Maya's apartment. Okay, stuff is happening. Lame that the gym switched to locks. I'll miss going through people's stuff. <laughs> this is new. It's our choices that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities. Don't let the bastards get you down. Chicas, don't let nobody tell you you're not beautiful, okay? People used to tell me I was all wrong. Wrong face, wrong body, wrong clothes, wrong makeup, wrong everything. But I was just like, nah, -uh, I'm canceling that noise. And now I'm freaking modeling. Be yourself and be beautiful, y'all. Tick-tock, time's a-wasting. Can you give me a verdict here, or do I have to solve this case myself? The only culprit here is the Ripple Man. Are you letting their lies get into your head? Good grief, don't tell me it's that goddamn plan again. Have you gone mad? Ooh, timed. Where are they now? I'll get them myself. I'm not gonna tell you where they are. Just give me a little more time. I ain't got any time left. Is this the grand plan you were going on about? Just stop while you're ahead and let me take over. Those kids are taking over now. Our perps are taking over the investigation? You've completely lost it. Unless... My god, has the Ripple Man got you too? Your plan won't work, you have to stop this instant. You can either help or stay out of my way. That does it. I'm not gonna let you cock up, let your cock up endanger this operation. Lucky for me, Warden still has some tricks up its sleeves. I'll find those kids, my men will bring them in. And it will be coming for you, too. Hey, so we're all at Mai's apartment. Rex is still setting up, though. Rex. Hey, I don't want the jammer failing on us, alright? Mina. Okay, like, can we link up our Chimera accounts first? You'll need our account codes. Mine is JB837. Aria's is WX527. And the final one is FQ618. Engage remote access, yes. Great, our accounts are linked. This does says initializing. Uh, Rex, right, one more rundown of what we're doing here. Aria, so I'll use the phone to summon the Monster. When call when the call gets picked up, Rex activates the jammer to trap it here. That's when you need to delete our Chimera accounts. Okay, is it still not available? It's not a great sign. Guess I'll just assume it's going to go through. How will I know when to do it? 
you'll just no. Okay, I'm gonna die. Ah! We're at the apartment, all of us. Um, hello. Our stuff's ready. We're good to go. Just, just one last check to make sure everything's set up right. I've checked. It's all okay. We can't afford to screw things up, all right? What if? It's gonna work. I've got a good feeling about this. Let's just do it. For my sake, too. For my sake, too. For my sake, too. My sake, my sake, my sake. Hope I didn't wait too long. Oh, are we doing this thing? Okay. So it's going to try to stop me. Um, quick, like the fast mode for the game is skipping these texts fast, which normally isn't a problem because there's no audio linked to them, but these have audio, so it's just kind of skipping their dialogue. That's awkward. I can't just go change it though, I'd have to fully quit and go to the menu to change it, so sorry. Uh, your friends cease, only we exist. We've got you now. And I have. Well, another death to the city of Africa. This is how you got Maya. She rewarded. You seek to alter to challenge the detective. He's wrong, and I'm going to prove it. There's no, no, no. There's nothing you can offer me. Oh, I think that's the voice of Maya. Maya's here, I think. They've been taken. Their body's dead, but I think their soul is in the simulacra. What deal? This cat you have already. Wow. Delete. Ah! You're... Do you wish to continue with the preservation? No. You're about to terminate. You want to delete yourself from making this? Are you sure about this? Instead, you want to delete yourself from making this decision. No. Ah! No. Don't tell me. Okay. Okay. It's... It's alright. We're not going to need to play through the whole game, but I do think we just died. <laughs> we got to do that fast. Is it working? We're we're back here. I can't tell if this is just some weird meta thing that we're doing it again, or if it just kind of loaded this as a checkpoint, and we're just attempting the whole thing again. I think it's just a checkpoint. I might have to not read the text. I think I'm gonna have to not read the text when the, all the boxes pop up because I gotta do it super fast. Okay, we're almost there again. Delete it. You're about to delete. Yes. Uh. Okay. Yep. How you dare 
Alan. Realize your insignificance. We do not fear you. We ignore my We are real. No, don't cancel. Ah, did it work? You will face judgment. I can I can change your reality. We will be in charge of our own reality. Thank you. I don't think we can okay. Yes. Do we continue with it? No. Um. Should you cancel? But are you unsure about this? No, I'm not unsure. There's no undoing this. Do this. Yes. Yes. There will be more. You might alter the, but you can never alter the fate of humanity. Just die already. Whatever the heck you did, it worked. The kids are okay, uh, okay as they can be. No visible injuries, but we're getting them checked out. I'll be in touch later, and I want every single minute detail. We don't know if this thing is coming back, but by God, I'll be ready for it. So I guess we're taking another photo, but someone's missing. We miss you, Maya. To new beginnings. New beginnings. Was sweet. Okay, what did we get? Hopefully almost everything. Uh, still quite a bit missing there. Exercise the Ripple Man. Yeah, we got it. We got the ending, I think. The good ending. It's the only one down here. So let's finish with some thoughts on Simulacra. Uh, I do think I'm going to leave it there. There are obviously some...
clues and, and avenues that haven't been explored. But I think getting the end, the good end, the biggest end, I think that's enough for me. Plus, it's kind of a huge pain in the ass to restart and get through getting all the clues again. So I don't think I want to go through that. I really do wish the restarting system was a lot better. Even with fast mode, which helps a little bit, it's still not nearly enough. Because this is the sort of game that you need to play, I think, at least twice. Almost anybody would have to play it at least twice to get an ending that they're happy with, probably. Anyway, uh, yeah, aside from that annoyance, I really enjoyed it. It's cheesy, it's a bit silly, but it's a lot of fun. I love the diegetic interfaces of messing around with this actual phone. That's super cool. And makes me want to go back and play the first Simulacra and see what other cell phone-based games are out there. Thanks for watching.